One of the fundamental keys to success is goal setting. And a lot of the work that I do in counseling is working with people to identify the goals that they have for themselves, for their lives. What are they working towards? People like Eric Thomas will talk about the power of your why. And this is similar. The why that you have, the goal that you set, this is what leads you. We'll call those your aspirations. What do you aspire to? Willing to put the effort in. And I would tell you that your aspirations are your inspirations. Your aspirations are your inspirations. What do I mean? What you aspire to, if it's high and far enough, will lead you to want to find the resources and put in the work necessary to go after it. So the aspirations that you have can't be so short-sighted that they're reachable overnight. They have to be big enough that they're out there, that they force you to put in some effort. And that inspires you. It inspires you to find the resources. It inspires you to find the energy, the time, the focus, because you look at these aspirations that you have and you acknowledge that other people have reached them too. So what you aspire for inspires you to put in the work today. And that's what I want to encourage you to do. Look at your aspirations and let your aspirations inspire you to put in the work today, even when you don't want to, even when you're tired even when it feels like it's almost hopeless. These dark moments, these difficult times will help inspire you to reach the things that you aspire for. So know that your aspirations are your inspirations and they will motivate you to do the work you need to do today in order to gain the tomorrow that you're looking for.